Hey everybody, I'm Schmerkadaber, and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. Boy, have I got a lot to show you. So, uh, I have changed my town up completely. I've got uh, my room right here with this beautiful king-sized bed. Um, I built this dressing room for Pip. Um, we've got uh, the kitchen and a little storage area here. Um, all the bedrooms for all the folks that live in town. Uh, we've got this amazing treasure room here. I mean, look at this. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Um, I have got, uh, oh, I put the wrong kind of stone up there. Eh, I'll get it later. Um, I've got, uh, the forge here, which is really great, and I even have a little inn for six people to sleep in, along with a nice little area back here with some light, um, for two people to sit and enjoy that beautiful salad. Um, yeah, I also uh, put some spike traps here. Um, once I figured out that I could walk on the spike traps, I was totally fine. And then on the west side of town, where all the monsters come from, I built this big um, uh, stockade or whatever they call it. Um, so yeah, I already turned in the quests for, um, for, for Pip um, and Rolo. Um, so unfortunately, we don't have the dialogue there, but not a huge deal. Let's see what Rolo wants now. What's up, Rolo? With the stone stockade keeping the monsters at bay, we can finally concentrate on making Cantlin great again. Ugh. Yes. However, I've noted that you've had your hands full lately, tending to the various whims and whimsies of your townspeople. Seems you haven't had much time to focus on your own building work, so I'm giving you free reign to build whatever pops into that funny little head of yours. You could build new rooms or furniture, even just replace the walls of your current buildings with something a little more durable. You need to practice your building skills, become a better builder than ever before. In doing so, you'll bring the city another step closer to its glorious revival. So go, Shmur. Do what you must to make this town and your building skills to another level. By my lustrous locks, the city is building better than ever. Yeah, um, I, I totally just did that. Uh, your building skills are just as the Cantlin Chronicle describes. But Shmur, my boy, you still have a long way to go. It is nearly time for you to seek out one who can bring out even more of your powers of creation. The Cantlin Chronicle describes a legendary blacksmith who went by the name of Magog. Though Magog lived many hundreds of years ago, it seems his descendant is still alive somewhere. If we are to stand any chance of defeating the monster who rules this land, we must find a way to build even stouter walls and stronger weapons. If anyone knows the secret of forging such items, this, this scion of Magog may be our man. I'll gather all the information I can about him and let you know as soon as I've tracked him down. When that time comes, Shmur, I hope I can count on you to do your duty. Hey, a seed of life. Outstanding. All right, I'm gonna eat that right about meow. Nom nom nom. All right, and it looks like Rolo is ready for a fight, um, which is cool because I'm excited to test out my do my new battlements. One other thing I did is put in a little moat all around here. Um, so, ooh, there's some stone walls down there. I'm gonna grab those, um, and then I have to go all the way back to the west side to get back out. But um, that's all right. See, I built this little stairway here for me to get out. And uh, back to here. Hopefully the monsters can't figure out to jump on those braziers. Braziers. Um, braziers. <laughs> braziers? I don't know. Wow, I can't believe I don't know how that's pronounced. Anyway, um, and figure out how to get out here. Um, but let's see next what LaRouche the Douche has for us. Hello there, Schmur. Having fun with all your little building projects, are you? I'll tell you right now, if you're thinking of building this city even bigger, making weapons to fight the monsters, I'm dead against it. I'm not saying it's not fun to build things. If I did say that, I wouldn't not be lying. God, I hate you, LaRouche. It's just that the workshop you built for us is so dark and dreary. It's really draining my will to build. If it was just a little bit more inviting, I don't doubt I would feel quite so, well, not negative, but... Uh, to sum up, Schmur, I think the workshop needs a leather sack and a sconce on the wall. Could do with a shop sign hung up there, too. Wouldn't make, wouldn't that make it the perfect place to work? All right, I can do that, LaRouche the douche. Let's put it together. Okay, so we need a bag. I'm gonna take this one out of the kitchen. Whap. Excellent. And then over to the shop. And let's just put that up right here, shall we? Okay. And uh, it needs a sconce. It's got a sconce. Um, so it needs a shop sign. So let's build one of those. Okay. Shop sign, yeah. All right, got plenty of wood, plenty of magic dye. Put that together, and let's just hang it up on the wall right here. Whap. All right. My first blacksmith studio. Cool. A fancy light source. Awesome. All right. 
All right, LaRouche. You happy now, you little bitch? Where are you? You stop right there. Ah, Shmur, how are your improvements to the workshop coming along? I'd prefer to live alone, but there's no denying that having a shared space to build new tools makes life a lot easier. If only that room were more inviting. Um, I hung a leather sack on the wall. Okay, LaRouche, get in there. You see it? Is it done? He says it's not bad. Um, maybe I'll try knocking this sconce down. And then I'll put it back up. Um, come on. I like it right there. Whap. Okay, Blacksmith Studio. Maybe it wasn't meant to be a Blacksmith Studio. Maybe... If I take this forge out. Stonemason Studio. There we go. That good enough for you, LaRouche the Douche? Yeah, it is. Awesome. All right. Oh, I see you finished your improvements to the workshop. Doesn't look half bad. Yeah, I think this is much more conducive to my style of work. I dare say this town might benefit if you put a forge in the workshop, too. It was just there, you... F oh, I hate you. Look, Shmur, I can't deny that all these tools are useful, nor can I deny that living with your friends isn't entirely intolerable. But there are more important things at stake. I realize I'm repeating myself here, but I insist that you exercise caution. If your building works draw the attention to the monsters, they will destroy you. However much Rolo may try to tempt you, you must not expand this town any further. Should your hubris get the better of you, it will summon forth a force beyond reckoning. The same monstrosity that laid waste to Catlin once before. The Golem. Okay. Ah, uh, gee, thanks for the wood, LaRouche. It's not like I didn't have a huge amount of that. All right. We're going to put this uh, forge back here. There we go. Look at all these points. Points all day. Okay. Uh, now, to the treasure room. Put this crap that LaRouche gave me away. Come on. There we go. There we go. Put the flagstone away. All right. Now. Um... Let's see. Looks like a fight's a Bruin. Um, and Rolo's the only one I can talk to. So let's see. Actually, by my knobby knees, Shmur, I have some terrible news. Seems the monsters plan to attack us again, in greater force than ever. We do have the stone stockade on our side, and stronger weapons than ever before, but still, we must not let our guard down. Be sure all your weapons and unguents undu are close at hand and be ready to face the enemy down. Um, no, I'm not quite ready yet. Um, I want to make sure... But I've got all this great gear. Let's equip this other stone sword. Um, couple of mallets, couple of stone swords. Good. I could use some more wayfarer's clothes and another leather shield. So let's make those. Um, okay, wayfarer's clothes. What am I missing? I have no coarse cloth. Well, I can make some leather armor. Let's do that. Okay. Um, another leather shield. And you know what? Since we know we're going to be fighting, and I don't really need the movement speed, um, let's equip that leather armor, shall we? Leather armor, equip. What do I look like? Oh, I look amazing! Look at me! I am the sexiest builder warrior ever. All right. Ooh, that black undershirt? Look at that. He's like a ninja under there. All right, Rolo. We're ready. Let's do some battle. Let's equip our stone sword. Um, I do have a copper sword, but... I want to use up these stone swords because they're not quite as good, and I'm sure that they're good enough to battle these monsters. All right, Rolo. I am prepared for battle. Okay, and they apparently always come from the west side, they said. So, bring it on, skellies. Come on. You can't take me. You can't even hit me. Yeah, you're just going to die on those spikes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, how do you like it? How you like me now? Oh yeah, these skellies, they don't know what's what's hitting them. Okay, this smashy guy, I'm gonna kill him because he can actually knock down my wall. Um, and I don't want to deal with that. Yeah, there's my soldier. There's my little soldiers. Yes, take him out. All right, get back up here now. Eh. Whoa, I got them all? Some brownies appear. We're gonna get them. Me and Rolo, side by side. Warrior buddies. We're just like 300. This is Cantlin! Okay. 
Yeah, look at this. Ooh, quartz cloth. That's great. I needed that. Um, that skelly didn't stand a chance. Um, let's see what these brownies do. Are they gonna come at me, bro? They are gonna come at me, bro. Haha, -ha, it's too tough. Yeah, look at that. My army. My army is, is taking everybody on. Oh. What is that? What are you? Well, either way, I'm gonna take you down. Look at this. I got it. We got him flanked. Yeah, there's no stopping us now. Alright, iron ingot. Make a wooden door. I can make it. Oh, good, a shovel. Uh, ornamental swords that I can hang on my awesome walls. Ornamental armor, cool. Okay. The monsters are defeated. We've done it, everybody. Victory is ours. All right. A red... T oh, cool. A new place I can teleport to. Awesome. Ah! Yeah, that's right. They'll think twice before trying that again. All right, Rolo. By my elegant eyelashes. Shmur, my boy. You've found another teleportal. A fortuitous find, indeed. I was just talking to our new friend Sheridan, you see. He told me where we might find the legendary blacksmith I mentioned earlier. Or rather, that blacksmith's descendant. And it seems the island where this man was last seen is on the other side of that very teleportal. If you could persuade that smith to join our town, there's no end to the mighty arms and armors we could build. Now, be sure that new teleportal is firmly in place, Shmur, and go back to track down that man. Alright. So you're new, huh? Phew! I finally made it! Found the source of the light! Look at all these beautiful buildings! I've heard the rumors, but I never imagined it'd be anything like this. Hold on. You didn't build this whole town yourself, did you? I did, actually. But, but that... You must be him! The Builder! Great goddess above, this is incredible! I can't believe I'm meeting the real live Builder in the real life flesh! So, you're rebuilding the ruins of Cantlin, are you? A city that was once watched over by the giant golem? My name's Sheridan, by the way. I was traveling the world for a long, long time before I finally found my way to this place. I don't have much to offer, but I would gladly tell you of the lands I've seen on my way here. I can't say how much use you could make of information like that, but I'm happy to tell you all I know. If it's alright with you, I'll settle in straight away. Yeah, um, there's no room for you, so you have to stay at the inn, alright? Pip, what you got for me? Wow, Schmur! Wow! Sh okay. Wow, Schmur! Now that you got that new teleportal, I can go to a whole new island! You know, I've been doing a lot of cooking lately. I mentioned to try out some of the new recipes I dreamed up. For example, I thought I could stuff some chimeras beaks with plumberries and grasshoppers, then boil them up in a mixture of earth and blue goo. But when I told Rolo my idea, he said he'd die if he had to eat something like that. So, Schmur, I was wondering if you could show me one of the new recipes you've invented. Something that tastes really tasty but doesn't make you die. <laughs> I know you're really busy doing things for Rolo and everybody else, so I don't mind if you can't help me straight away. Um, make a meal out of meat and wheat. Okay. Um, well, I've got wheat. Um... Let's see. Gotta put some stuff away here. Alright. Uh, put this fur away. Coarse cloth. Iron ingot. Bones. Okay. Now, meat and wheat, you say, Pip. Um, where's the kitchen? It's in here. Alright. What do we got? Um, nothing that I can make right now. I can make fruit salad, but that's it. So, uh, unfortunately, I can't help you out at the moment, Pippa. Um, and it looks like at some point we're going to have to knock down all these bedrooms and just have everybody sleep at the end, um, which is fine. All right, ghost. Yeah, you never stood a chance. All right. Let's have a nap, shall we? Sleep through the night. Um, and then we'll set up that teleportal and go see what's up. Ah, so sleepy. Oh. A light shines in the darkness. Images begin to form in Schmur's mind. Oh, look at this. Ah, would that I might pass all the remaining days of my life alone with my beloved. Yet the knowledge that a monster might rob us of this simple joy at any moment weigheth heavily upon my mind. But all shall be well when thou defeatest the Dragonlord. Goddess speed, you brave adventurer. Ah, to be alone with my beloved is to forget all that threateneth this world. 
But alas, I cannot put our plight entirely from my thoughts. For my lover informs me that were our world to be destroyed, our love too must surely perish. And yet, I know in my heart that we shall soon be redeemed from this peril. For thou art the scion of Erdrick, hero of legend. Ooh, Erdrick coming up early. I love it. And then there's this guy. When dark doth spread across the land, light shall return by Erdrick's hand. That was my dear departed grandsire's favorite phrase. O oh, mighty goddess, we pray that the ancient teachings hold true. May thy light shine upon brave Star's quest. Schmer's, Schmer's quest. Thanks, brother. You guys are the coolest. I like my dream people. It seemed like a memory of something that happened long, long ago. But whether it was his own memory or somebody else's, Schmer can't remember. Deedle -deedle 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 -deedle. All right, Schmer. All right, let's set up that new portal. See where it takes us. Um, actually, before I go, I want to make a shovel. I'm going to make a shovel right now. Um, hopefully. Okay, maybe I don't need that. Um, oh, it's probably a weapon, right? Yeah, shovel. There we go. I'm an iron ingot and a broken branch. I'll take it. Cool. All right, I've got a shovel. And now in case I need it, I will be prepared. Um, we are going to go, let's see, we've got our little guard tower here, um, by the way. It's uh, got all kinds of pots and this bench for sitting. Um, plenty of light for everybody. We go up here, here's where our teleportals are. Uh, let's set this one down right there. Yeah. All right, Schmur, let's go. Schwam. Okay. Another treasure chest. Oh, good. A red Navi globe. Okay. Um, so this is like, this is sand. That's cool. All right. Um, now, I'm going to need... I'm going to need some of this cactus. Because... Oh, look out! Jackalopes! Oh, no! Take that, Jack... Oh, some meat! Awesome! A bunny corn steak. Cool. Okay. Let's see what that is. Sand grass. Yeah, I'm gonna need these these cactus parts, um, so I can help out that guy with his garden. And I'm definitely gonna help out that guy with his garden um, at some point. Just not at the moment. Let's uh, let's find this legendary blacksmith's descendant first. Look at this. The stone sword. Doing some ass kicking. Yeah. Okay. Looks like a medicinal leaf there. Let's see what these scorpions drop. I'll probably gather up that stone, too, because I am dreadfully short on stone all the time. All right, Scorpos. Yeah, that's a derogatory term for scorpions. Scorpos. How do you like... How do you like that? How do you like me now? Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, the move I learned from your scorpion brethren is going to be your downfall. All right, all right. Let's uh, grab our hammer, smash up this rock because I need those. Um, smash up these slimes too. Why not? Yeah. All right. Back to the sword. I'm, I am a, a powerful S wordsman. Okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, this is so good. So much, so much cactuses. Okay, I wonder if I can knock down a whole cactus, though. That's something I should probably try with the hammer. So I'll do it over there. Because if I can knock down a whole cactus, um, then that's what I actually need um, for that hammer guy's garden. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm super hungry. Ah, bunny corn! Nom, 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 nom. 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 Nom, nom, nom. Okay, Schmur, 15 mushrooms is your limit. All right, um, hammer. Whap! Okay, it does the same thing, so that's cool. Um, so that's probably all I need. I'll grab this rock. Um, switch back to my sword. 
Hya, hya, take this, scorpion. Aha, haha, touche. No, not, not touche. What I meant to say was uh, on guard. Ooh, I found some chains. Man, these bunny corns know what they're doing. Haha. Haha, oh. Ha 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 ha, yes. All right, these orange slimes got nothing on me because my sweet leather armor. All right, I'm going to finish off this bunny corn here. Yeah! Okay, all right. I blew it. Um, let's take some of the sand, too, because I don't have any. Yeah, first block of sand. So let me make stuff. Oh, some glass. Nice. All right, well, let's, uh, let's eat some healing jelly. Yum, yum, yum. And uh, let's get this hammer out and start smashing up some sand so I can take a whole bunch of it home with me. Okay. Um, might as well, like, clear cut the top of one of these off, right? Make it look nice and, and, and flat and well designed. Okay. All right. Um, this is uh, how I imagine Dragon Quest Burning Man would look. Um, I should build... Oh. All right, new life goal. Build Burning Man in the desert of Dragon Quest Builders. I am for sure going to, ooh, look at those golems. Okay. Haha! -ha. Missed me, sucker. Now I'm just pounding you with a hammer. Pound, pound. Going to Burning Man, going to Burning Man, Burning Man, Burning Man. Burning man, burning man. All right. I want all the rocks that I can get, please. Oh, uh, there's a hammer bro over there telling me hello. Awesome. All right. Whap. Whap, whap. Oh, all right. Time for my superpower spinny attack. Look at that, bunny. Yes, okay. The golem is here. <clears throat> ha ha. Oh boy, I cannot do much damage to him. But he's super slow, so I'm gonna take him out since I can. Maybe the mallet would be better. Nope, mallet is actually significantly worse. The stone sword is doing one damage every time at least. All right, see you later, dude. Guess you had enough of me. Hello, human, I'm a hammerhood. Clabberina told us all about you. She said that if we saw a human who looked like he was about to fall asleep, we should help, help, help him. But what are you doing in Damdara, human? You must have walked for ages to get here all the way from Cantlin. Such a long, long, long way. Huh? You used a teleportal? Sounds like a really convenient thingamajig. I wish I could get back home that quickly. Hmm. If I brought the blue teleportal to him, he would be able to use it and go home. All right, so that's, uh, that's another thing I should do. Let's equip this shovel, because it just occurred to me that I need to dig plants up. All right. Yeah, cactus trunks. That's what I need. Okay. Let's grab a few of those. And a cactus crown. Awesome. All right. And um, I need to dig up some flowers, too. So let's... Oops. Okay, yeah, let's dig those up. Got the sand warp plant, that's good. Get a couple more. Let's get this uh, prickly pear. Yeah. Prickly peach, my bad. Get a few of those. Excellent. Let's get a couple more cacti and cactus crowns here. Okay. All right, more cactus trunk. And uh, break up this rock, because once again, stone seems to be of limited supply. Um, here we go, get more right here. Oh, that ghost! That ghost got me good! But now, now, I will get the ghost. Okay. Eh, eh, it really gets my ghost. Gotcha, bitch! All right. Okay, let's collect this rock. All right. And why not? Let's uh, go ahead. Ooh, sandstone, you say? 
Sandy sandstone, you say? Iron, oh yes. Okay, so this is where we find iron, that's good. We are learning so much today, everybody. This is great. Yeah, look at this. <coughs> all right, I definitely wanna collect all the iron that I can. Um, because that's gonna make me, or let me make some awesome things. Okay, here's a tree. I wonder if I can dig that tree up. Can I use a super swing with my hammer? I can. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but that's okay. Switch back to my sword. Take this ghost on. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, some more chains. Let's go back to the shovel and see if we can dig this guy up. No. All right, mallet it is. Uh, looks like those are just sticks. Don't really need those. Um, we gotta find a place, a safe place, where we can wait out the night. Uh, on the other hand, I need to dig up some flowers. Okay. Yep, there we go. Medicinal shrub. Okay. Look at this. We're in good shape. We are getting all kinds of plants that we're going to be able to use to help our buddy out with his garden. Um, got plenty of cacti, I think. All right. We're going to go up here. Um, and just have a look-see around um, and see what we can spot. Um, it's very dark out right now. Um, so, whoa, haha, -ha, ghost. You're not gonna get me from there. Question is, can he make it all the way up here? Can I dig that up from here? No. All right, back to my S word. And um, I'm gonna guess that it's over there, like near that stone archway. Um, but I really... I really just want light to come back. Um, so, uh, how are you all doing? Um, I hope everybody's doing okay out there. I'm doing great. Schmer's doing great. We're all doing great. Um, felt like it just got a little bit lighter, but I don't think it actually did. Um, you know what? As long as we're up here... Yeah, let's grab some of this uh, sandstone, shall we? There we go. Daytime has returned. All right, whap, 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 whap. All right, um, good, good, good. Scorpion's never gonna catch me. Oh, okay, this place is larger than I thought. Um, let's grab this iron. The iron fool, okay. And some stone. Oh, there's a building over there. Let's check that out as soon as I gather up this stone. Yeah, okay. Um, is that the same Hammerhood I was talking to? No, it's not. Hey, you. Yeah, that's Schmur boy Clobberina was talking about. I really hate, hate, hate you humans, but Clobberina told us we have to help you. And what she says goes. I'll give you the lowdown in the local area, but nothing more. The place is called the Damn Dar Desert. Never been anything here for as long as anybody remembers. Well, I say there's nothing here, but there's still all sorts of materials you won't find near Hammerton Heights. If you look into that sort of thing, you should take a look, look, look around. All right, I'm gonna grab these crates. I'm gonna grab this well. All right, some more rocks to pick up. Wow, oh, there's plenty of stone here. This is great. Okay, so my stone supply is gonna be okay. All right, what's down there? A little oasis, this is nice. Ooh, look at you, you're a guy. Thou can't see me? How very unexpected. Tis a rare one indeed that I see a denizen of the spirit realm such as I. What manner of man am I? I was once a culinarian of much renown. I created the most sophisticated dishes, unlike aught the realm had seen before. The pinnacle of my work was the invention of the brick barbecue. Alas, I never did get the chance to share my ingenious idea with the world. The enticing aromas of my very last meal attracted a band of roving monsters. With my dish of spiced plumberries, not enough to satisfy their hunger, they slew me. Be wary, traveler. With great cuisine cometh great, great danger. Oh, God! All right. All right. Um, I'm going to heal, and I'm going to start swinging. Pow! Oh. Okay. Pow, pow! All right. Let's get right in here. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. That was a huge mistake. All right. Um, eh, eh. 
Okay, here we go. Bang, zap, boom. Ah, oh, my range is so low. Pow. All right, let's take out this iron one. It's nearly dead. Just gotta finish it off and that'll help me out a lot. Okay. All right. Eh, eh. You're done for. All right, whap. Okay, here we go. Get them both. Yes. Again. Pow! You're done. Ah, uh, Schmur. Legendary warrior builder. Waha! Okay. Whap, 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 whap. Ow. Whap, whap, whap. No, 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 no. Pow! Look at that sweet jumping attack. All right. I'm gonna take out this orange slime too, just because my my anger hasn't subsided. Okay, giant mallet, out you come. Thank you. All right, dude, what's up? Thou hast slain the monsters. Tis a pity I was hoping to offer thee a waiter's role in my spectral restaurant. Ah, but since thou canst see me, mayhap there is another role I mightest fulfill. I bid thee assume my mantle, carry on my legacy of culinary research, and make use of the secrets I did uncover. Go out into the land of the living and become the greatest culinarian in the world. What sayst thou? Tis an offer few would refuse. Wilt thou become the one and only head chef of Alephgard? I absolutely will. I will put my forehead on yours and steal your power. What? Thou art too busy building to turn your hand to anything else. Bah, thou art a fool. Dost thou not see that cooking is another form of building? Tis not simply a matter of filling empty stomachs. Each meal bringeth hope and happiness to the hearts of those who consume it. Since thou truly hope to save the world, I urge thee to continue my work. I shall teach thee how to build the brick barbecue. Protest all thou might, but thou shalt be taught. I prithee, allow my genius to aid thee in thy quest to make Alephgard rise again. Okay, I'm down. Yeah. All right, brick barbecue. Cool. Little addition to our kitchen, I love it. And I'm also taking this. <laughs> All right. My first meat feast. Okay. Um, all right, everybody. I'm going to grab this iron, and uh, this is going to be the end of today's episode of Dragon Quest Builders. In fact, I think I will probably just teleport back to town. Let's do that right about meow. Schwa oh, no. No. I want to use my shovel real quick to dig these bushes up. No. Shovel. There you go. All right. Clump of grass. Can I just dig up clumps of grass? Oh, no. There we go. Stalwart plant. Look at all this stuff. I'm finding all kinds of things that I never knew existed before. Okay. Um, let's just pick up the rest of this stuff here. Shovel it away. There we go. And let's whack this rock. And then we'll teleport back home. No. Pow, 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 pow. And I would really like... What's this stuff? Okay, stuff I already have, apparently. Um, I just want to use up the rest of this mallet. I'm I'm that kind of, uh, I'm that kind of guy. Um, it's close to running out, so let's use it up. And then we will end this episode. There we go. All right. Um, cool. Chimera wing. Off we go. Ah, take me home, Chimera. Schwam. All right, and we are back home. And that's going to be it for today, everybody. Um, yeah, I didn't find the blacksmith, but I did find the thing for Pip. So we'll do that next time. I'm going to drop a save here. Dragon Quest Builders. Save it up. And uh, thank you for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know that I enjoyed making it. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you hated the video, please like... Some monsters appear near my base. Where? Um, those aren't monsters. Haha, <laughs> they fell in my moat! Suckers. Oh, they got nothing. They got nothing on me. Alright. Um, so yeah. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you later. I'll see you next time. I'll see you around. And I uh, can't wait to play more Dragon Quest Builders, and I can't wait to do it with you. Have a great day. Bye.